Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tim, and welcome to another Saturday stream, where tonight, we're going to the Nazi space base, baby. That's right, you better bring them on. And hit enter. I don't know why it takes so many menus to get all the way to the fucking end of that thing, but it's fine. We got the papers. We've already watched this cutscene tonight. Last, last night. Well, I guess tonight, too, because technically the VODs were running until just a couple of minutes ago. So I guess for those of you who who weren't watching in the uh, chat all day, hi everybody, how are you guys doing? Doing well, I hope. Uh, it's the end of the week, and Saturday is, uh, well, the midpoint of your weekend. Thank you so much for spending it with me as we blast off into outer space, and um, it's going to be fun. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the end of this thing by the, by the, uh, the end of tonight, and who knows, we might even have a little bit of spare time at the end. If we do, I'll have to come up with something else to play, uh, but don't worry. I have a feeling I might be able to find something. Anyway, so now that I'm able to uh, freely walk about the cabin, thankfully the, the captain has turned off the uh, fasten your safety belt sign, and we can go to the bathroom. Because good lord, I held my, my bladder throughout the entire launch sequence and talk about wanting to piss your spacesuit. Hmm. BJ Blazkowicz, it, it, uh, unknown fact, scared, not scared of many things. Heights, definitely one of them. Why, hello. Pleasure to meet you, General. Well, you're probably not the general. You're probably just a guy walking around. Now I'm gonna guess that that's a recording somewhere. Yep, just playing over the general loudspeaker. Fair enough. Oh, look at the Nazi space pooch. No, no, no. Tim is afraid of water. BJ Blaskowitz is fine with it. Tim is definitely deathly afraid of water that he can't see the bottom of. Uh, but. Thankfully, you're not going to find any of that out here. <laughs> so we're safe. In spies. <laughs> Thank you, Tim Curry. I'll be forever grateful for you to give me the, the most amazing pronunciation of the most amazing place that I will probably never get, get to set foot in. Spies. The place less corrupted by capitalist greed. Spies. <laughs> Oh, hmm. Yeah, as it turns out, we do still have some shrapnel inside of our heads. Yes. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Good Nazi. You you have a great day as well. Can I, like, sneak around here back into his security station and maybe stab him a couple of times? Oh. What? Were you saluting me? Am I... Am I wearing some sort of general's outfit? I can't really see myself. I have... I, I'm, I'm suffering from no feet syndrome. Uh, at the moment, so I can't really look down and see what we looks like, but Hmm, I noticed that there's a gun uh, just here, and it says it opens elsewhere, and I can't really Get inside of there right this second, but it looks like that's where I need to find a way inside of so Let's get to exploring maybe hey hey guards Don't look don't watch me Whew. Thank you where is the chief research scientist going? Oh. Oh. Okay, good. They're not talking about me. I was like, uh, am I ar arousing suspicion already just by going ooh, onto the back area? I know I'm not supposed to be back here, but you know what? You're not going to stop me. Ooh. This must be our luggage, which has all of our wonderful clothing. Thankfully, I can get out of that awful Nazi regalia. And, uh, oh, yeah. You know what? Yes, that's right. That's right, Queen. I, yeah, because I, I stole the white uniform of the chief research scientist just so we could go to space. You're absolutely right. I totally forgot about that. Of course, now we've gone ahead and blown that cover, but, uh, you know what? There was only so long I could keep that up before I started blasting Nazis in the face, so. Affirmative. Maybe it's better to go ahead and drop the guys early. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, I can go ahead and carve my way through there. Thankfully, the blaster came fully charged, so I don't need to recharge it at the moment. Bang. Oh, damn. I got hit by the refraction. Well, he's blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a douche. Okay. And I can go ahead and sneak away some health. Man, I'm up to 230 health. 
because I happen to have a ton uh, naturally. I think I'm up to like 180, just natural standing health. Huh, I seem to have lost my aiming scope. Well, that's inconvenient. And also I need to put it back into firing mode. Pew! Oh, fuck. Pew! Oh, really? Wow. He took a bunch to give. I'm surprised. Okay. What about pistol bullets? Pistol bullets seem to be way more effective than lasers against these guys. That is very good to know. Marksman rifle upgrade. Lasers? I can get lasers on a rifle? Oh, that's amazing. I'm assuming that it recharges the same way through the uh, recharge ports. But my other question is, can I... Damn. Damn. I was really hoping that I could uh, be able to drill through some of these grates that I would otherwise have to laser around with this laser rifle. But unfortunately, that... No. No. We shan't get so lucky. Uh, question. I noticed that this kind of went around in another U-shape over here. And it's not immediately blocked off, so... Where do you go, my lovely? Meow, 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 meow. I want to know, where do you go? Ooh, excellent. Grab myself a Tesla grenade. I mean, surely, on this big, massive space station, using a Tesla grenade, it can't have any negative impacts, right? Surely. Also, I love how it has... A stand to make it like be a stationary rifle, uh, but it's on top of the rifle. So there's no way for it to actually deploy properly. Unless unless it's just supposed to hang. Like when you flip them down, they hang down far enough that the gun itself kind of hangs down in between them. I don't know. That, that would be a weird layout. I'd have to see that in action. And of course, I, I can't. Not really, anyway. Ooh. This is our chance. Dun, 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 taking down space Nazis. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Good. So we've got 36 some odd meters. Until I make it over to two officers. I see one down there. He's kind of meandering around the bottom ring here. Hmm. But where is the other? Because I need to make sure that he's not going to, like, round around this upper ring and maybe, like, sneak up on me from behind. That would be, that would be quite awful, as it turns out. Hmm. There he is. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take the opportunity to... Pew! Right in the face hole. Damn it. Okay, well, I took one down silently. Is that Was that enough to unlock all of the uh, secrets? I hope so. If not, we're going to be up shit creek without much of a paddle. Anyway. Now that the cat's been let out of the bag, I guess I can go ahead and switch over to the marksman rifle. Wow. And find out exactly how effective it's going to be. Oh, da, 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 Jesus. Did not see the robo puppy approaching. He was effectively camouflaged. Wow. That was not cool, pup. Like, I just, I hate the gnashing of fangs suddenly right in my face. And it, like, takes over your camera and shit. Like, that has always terrified me. And they did it a lot in um, Resident Evil. Oh, there's my scope back. That's nice. Thank you. Oh, and of course, it's out of charge, too. Take my grenades. Oh. How many did that kill? Just the one. Fuck. Fine. We'll do this the old fashioned way. Huh. Cur oh. I was about to say, curious that I had enough battery for both of those. Or for, for one here, like it says 460, but this one only has 60. I was like, what, 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 what gives? That's what gives. Because now when I go over here, it says eight bloody hundred. That's a little bit better. Pew pew, pew pew. 
Excellent. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing, now that there's nobody else here, I can probably go ahead and take this lovely, lovely beauty with me. And, uh, well, yeah. We'll use it to punch open some holes and things for a minute. While I go around and make sure that we're not missing anything. Oh, there is a secret here. It's somewhere around this staircase. I'm going to guess. Ooh. What do you, what do you? Huh, interesting. It kind of makes a, a big old fire blast that I assume could kill a Nazi. Yeah, like that. Or probably a BJ Blazkowicz too, if I'm being quite frank, but that's, you know, thankfully a theory we won't have to test out anymore. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, the question mark is right here, but I don't see, I don't see any secret. It's talking about the map. It's talking about the actual lunar base map. The question mark there was for the map. Beautiful. <sighs> okay, at least we know now that we weren't actually missing anything. Um, so, good. We can move on. Can I? These turrets operate on the same battery. Can I recharge the turret? Okay. All right. That's something I should have learned about a long time ago. Boy, howdy. And that's going to take us all the way over to the right side of the map, if you saw. And nearer to another secret. Hello? Anybody here? I'm only here to destroy you and everything that you hold dear. But why on earth would you try and stop me? Because we're not on earth anymore. <laughs> uh, ooh. Okay, so right there next to one of the officers is the secret we are searching for. Perhaps, well right now, it might be a good idea to, let's see, just see where this one takes us. Hmm, into the lava tree. What about this one? If I cut through here, is he gonna hear me? Fuck. He did. He heard me good. He heard me some but good. Uh, fuck. Well, I guess I should just go ahead and restart last checkpoint because I am going to need to kill at least one of them in stealth again for the question marks. Because I think that we have more items available to us than there are question marks on the field right now. So I, I think there are still some more to unlock. I don't think killing one officer gives you all of the items revealed. Under that are all of the items revealed aren't going to, or all of the um, secrets aren't going to be in this area. One of those two things is true. Either way, we need to figure out a better battle plan. So maybe we should actually go ahead and sneak through this side. I wish there was a quieter way to do this. But there is not. And let's go ahead and recharge. Try to figure out a way to access it, William. Switch it over to gun mode. And maybe sneak our way to the lava tree next. Oh, fuck! Door. I just can't win. I just can't win today, can I? I just can't win for fucking trying. Oh, well. It's okay. We'll figure out where that sweet spot is. Somewhere along there is the place that I need to go in order to, to, to actually destroy them. Question is where? Or maybe, I don't know, maybe further down? Nope, that just leads to an actual fan. Fuck. Okay. Let's try this a third time. There should be a service tunnel leading from the quarters to the laboratories. Try to figure out a way to access the tunnel. Don't you worry, Anya, darling. I shan't mess this up a third time.
I wanted to. But I need to know if he's got other friends out here. No, he doesn't. And also... There's a really good chance that when he's coming back... Bingo. Fuck! For reals? For realsies. Well, the good news is I found the other commander. He's sleeping in the barracks right across the way. Fuck! So then do I just sneak behind that guard? I'm guessing so. I'm guessing that I just let him pass and sneak up behind him and stab him in the neck. That seems like a good plan to me. That seems like a fairly effective plan. Let's see if I can actually put that into action. In my defense, it's getting towards the end of the game. Of course, it would start getting difficult. Lean in. Lean in the corner, BJ. Lean in the corner, Blaskowitz. They'll never see you. Let's say he should be walking on by. Why? Why was he not walking on by? Yep. Okay, good. If I pop him one, but good, that should be effective. And this captain sleeping up in his bunk. It'll be his final resting place. Which I think. Le oh, leaves the Shizen commander ready for my blade. Now he's sitting in there on the John. Um, can I maybe? I might have to. I might have to throw a knife. I think I might have to throw a knife. As soon as I can see a foot. Wait, or is he? No. Okay, he's in his bed too. Whoa, oh, BJ. BJ, that was harsh, man. Did you see that shit? He stabbed him from underneath the mattress. Ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. And it unfortunately gave us no other secrets, but you know what? I still count myself very proud. Uh, let's see here. I think... I can go ahead and carve that open. And then get back behind here for whatever secret is right there. Awesome. A knife and, a nick and an enigma code piece. Just what I always wanted. And I think I get to sneak my way a little bit further on by using more of these tunnels. Yep, to get around the cone, baby. Beautiful. Uh, I have max armor right now. Woo! That's a big beefy boy. That's a big beefy boy, and I am without a lot of things that could really kill him right now. Um, he can't see me, right? I don't think he can see me. And I need to actually just move beyond him anyway, so... Could you maybe look another direction, please? You're starting to creep me out. Nope. Pretty sure he's not gonna look the other direction because he knows we're here. Fuck. Hmm. So what you gonna do, smart guy? You gonna try and run away from the big beefy beast? Or are you gonna fight him here and probably make it your last stand? Um. Huh. Choices. Cause I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have the equipment to be able to take him down. I'm gonna have to run. I'm gonna have to book it. And hope I can, I can make it out of here before. Shit. Yeah, before he was really able to take action. Which is awesome, because I think I made it away scot free. Good. Good, 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 good. Shit! Not scot free! Not scot free! Woo! <laughs> okay. All good. All good. <laughs> everything went fine. I assure you, everything is perfectly fine. 
<laughs> Just as I planned it. <laughs> I had a feeling that he was going to be coming around that corner, and I needed to be out of there by then. July Ooh. 10th, 1948. The war is over. The Nazis have declared victory. People are celebrating the peace. I see. I can't so by 1948, that's me, when the Nazis had decidedly won there. I just noticed my pop filter. Even the plastic part of my pop filter has a ton of cat hair on it. No wonder I can feel ticklings in my nose every so often. Cat's here even when it's not fucking here. Cat is here. I just not in the immediate vicinity. In fact, I don't know where that apex predator is probably right now. Pew! Crap. Crap. Already seen one of his friends die. Well, I mean, the good news is there are no commanders anymore, so really, it's just down to grunts. And me and my amazing pistol. Really? Really? Wow. Dip, dive, duck, dodge, and weave, huh? Look, Ma, he's dancing! Look, Ma, he was dancing! And he, he would have gotten away with it, too, if I hadn't murdered him viciously and immediately. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch back over to the marksman's cuz well got full battery. Why the fuck not? And Aha! I was about to say I think I'm pretty close to where I would hide something So let me just go ahead and check the map that handy-dandy beautifully scouted map And thankfully it showed me exactly what I wanted to see Ah <sighs> I feel like we're making damn good progress. Like, moving quickly, too. Uh-oh. 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 That's a death laser grid, right? Okay, we duck under it. All good. It's not gonna get us. Woo! That wasn't a death laser grid, was it? That was just, that was just like a decontamination thing. I'm betting. Crap. Now I wish I hadn't used up all my shots with a pistol because, well, I'm back in a place where there are two officers meandering around. I don't know where they're at. Ooh, I see one. Bye-bye, birdie. Awesome. And it looks like that didn't alert anybody yet. So let's see. The good news is I, I, I have not unequipped my silencer queen since I put the motherfucker on. So, I think we're okay. At least for now. We've got 14 more shots. And I need to find that second commander. Who I'm now going to guess is upstairs. Because, well, I'm right here in the corner. And he's still 7 meters away. So. Ooh, I will take that gold face mask. Remind you of a certain creepy cult. And meander my way upstairs. Hello? Anybody home? I have a letter here for... <laughs> Not Z Scum. Anybody here by that name? Not Z Scum? The fuck? Are these the breeding tubes for more of their Ubermensch? I mean, it's gotta be, right? That's gotta be what that is. It's too gross for that not to be what it is. <coughs> Go ahead and pop a cap in the back of his dome. And continue to move, BJ. You are doing fantastic, my friend. Dun, 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 stealthy, stealthy Nazis out. Come on. Where'd he go? Which way did he go, boss? There you are. Pew. <laughs> the good news is most of these officers carry their light ammunition around with them. So I get some uh, uh, pistol bullets back. And... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I was able to make it through that entire level without losing a single bit of health. Fucking go me. Uh. Oh. <laughs> next, next chamber over. I was like, where the fuck? Letter. Dieter's letter. Greetings. I read in your newspapers the other day that you are now accepting contact ads. Oop. I just called. Being of the adventurous kind, I decided to give this a shot. Here is my ad. Ooh. Oh, I see. It's a personal ad. Dear future wife, I am a tall and handsome space marine currently stationed on the moon. I have a highly successful career. 
My awards include the Long Service Awards, the Knight's Cross of Bravery, and the General Assault Badge. Back on Earth, I live in an exclusive apartment near the center of Berlin. Being hugely successful in my career, I plan on one day moving to a house in the countryside. Uh, shit, lost my space, lost my p place. But sometimes in space, it gets very lonely without a wife to come home to. Wait, how would... You don't go home every night, do you? I mean, I guess the spaceship kind of took us up here in just a couple of hours, so... I imagine that going home wouldn't be that long of a ride. Are you a cute young girl who likes to cook and clean? Uh, do you have the hips suited for bearing many children? Four, five, six, perhaps twelve? Are you tired of pursuing your own goals and pressures of success and want to settle down uh, as a homemaker? Then join me on a romantic date when I get back from my six, long uh, six months long space mission and I will show you the greatest time you've ever had. Your future husband or birth data. Please send all applicants to crew module 4, box 756252489, the moon. Sincerely, Dita. Aw, oh, poor Dita. He'll never find himself a data. Data? I've hardly met what. Hmm. Sorry, it had to be made by somebody, right? Might as well be me, because then you can just boo me. The fuck? Am I? Am I off the map? Oh, I see. This little side corridor here, despite being not openable, uh, isn't on the map either. So that's why I was a little confusing. Hmm. I seem to be able to go somewhere from upstairs. Oh, fiddly fart. Are you serious? I exited the way out because I was like, surely that's the end of the line, right? Like, I found all the stuff in here. I found all the secrets. Let me just explore back around the place to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope. The thing that I missed was the way the fuck out. Whee! Oh, excuse me, boys. I didn't mean to drop in on you. Oh, sadly, there's nobody here to hear my awesome uh, one-liner. Secret? Secret! I see you, but I don't see you. Oh! There it is! Awesome! How are we looking so far? Three Enigma codes, two things of gold, a couple of concept art and characters. I imagine I'll find those as we go along. But I still haven't found the health upgrade for this level. So I imagine that's gonna come along as we probably get to the next map. Because, well, as it turns out, we were right. There weren't enough question marks to uh, uh, marked on the map to make up all of the secrets that are in my my catalog. But uh, as it turns out, <clears throat> that's because there's still more places for me to adventure. Yep. I was about to say, I think I'm supposed to go into this giant red tunnel, but, well, it looks like one of those old cigarette lighters in my car. It's probably a little warm. November and also, how the fuck do I get in there? Turns out I jump it. appears to have a hot temper. I learned this as I attempt to smash his head with a flower pot I dropped from my apartment window. Sadly, I missed. He had friends nearby. They broke my door down. I said it was an accident, but they gave me a black eye and spit on my dress. I want people on my side I can rely on. Yeah. So I guess Ramo this may be but the start of Ramona's fight. little resistance group here. <clears throat> She found a way to uh, <laughs> try and physically assault a Nazi and get away with it. And realized immediately that she needed some backup if she was going to continue to fight in a bigger, badder way. Sadly, we did not make it to her in time, so hopefully some of these recordings will tell us how she got along on her own. Because I really want to know. Hmm. That's, that's a full-fledged, like, exposed to space suit. Sure. All right. I guess we are going out onto the lunar surface. Neat. Hit that button, BJ. I'm walking on the moon. 
<laughs> I was really hoping that they would let my jump go much farther. Wow. I kind of want to see myself from third person as I, like, I, I kind of noticed as I was running and jumping that occasionally he would, like, continue the running animation. He'd be like, ah! I kind of want to see what that looks like from the outside. Oh, really? Huh. I must have missed it. July 17th, 1955. The Nazi appears to be a choosy bachelor. I learned this as we sat on a picnic blanket in the Meadowlands. He said he would kiss me if I bleached my hair blonde. I was nauseated by his request. But as long as I smile and hide the hate, no one is suspicious of me. So and so she killed another Nazi with poison. With sedatives, and I rolled him down a shallow grave. <sighs> Ruthless. She is just not even playing with them anymore. What's up, bot? In space, nobody can hear you explode. I mean, I guess that would be the other thing about, you know, all kills would be silent kills in space. <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry about being discovered. That's for sure. Ooh, wait a minute. Whoa, hold up. Wait a minute. Damn it. <laughs> I got too much momentum and I ran right square into the wall. I think I see a piece of Nazi gold. A golden moon rock. Wow. I'm going to take that back for immediate study. Oof. Can I make it? Can I make it? I think I can. Oh, I almost overshot. Wow. I almost overshot. And that is a long way down. Oh, fuck me. I mean, I guess that's what I get for looking, you know. All I wanted to do is take a peek, then I end up slipping right off the edge. That's that's usually how it goes for me. Pretty much to a T. All right, bad boys. Let's try this again. <laughs> when, once they start uh, shooting lasers at me, and you get just in the right angle, the, the bright lights make them blend in really well with the lunar surface. Like, it's kind of creepy. Just how easily you can lose them in their own light. Whee! Okay, so I guess I'm actually supposed to jump all the way down here. Cool. And we appuie the bouton. Which should open back up the airlock and we can get inside a different part of the moon base. Right? Right. Recharge gun number one. How do I... There we go. I was about to say, how do I recharge gun number two? I don't really have too much control over that. Boop. And let us hang up our spacesuit. Ooh, God, it feels good to be out of that thing. The nuclear key codes are around here somewhere. And I found a scalpel? What the scalpel for? Wait a minute. Whoa, hold up, BJ. I remember this moment. Oh, shit. This right, when they admitted us well, into camp. I'll bet they probably implanted something in us. I, I, I cannot believe it's that certainty. For me and everything, there must be doubt. Otherwise, there's no room to question the plan. And or is he cutting off the tattoo? This place, this is, the is he cutting off the tattoo? I'm questioned ferocious conviction. This is where absolute certainty leads. Yet you are a believer. What kind of a God would sanction suffering such as this? And I question myself whether my faith is misplaced. Maybe he's testing us. Well, Egyptian, if he is testing us, we are failing gloriously. Yep. Oh, God damn. Definitely cutting off the tattoo. 
Okay, BJ. Really? You're just gonna rub it off? You're just gonna- you're just gonna walk that one off, huh? You're gonna physically cut off a tattoo from your arm, and you're just gonna- you just gonna walk that one off. Not even- not even a little ace bandage, something to cover it up, safe from infection? No? Okay. I mean, I guess that's what all these first aid kits are for, right? Some sort of disinfection, if nothing else. Uh, you know, Harwood, it might be the first time he's seen something he can do that with. I don't know. I'm actually gonna pop you one good and sneak on around here. Because I'm wondering if I might be able to find myself one officer. Really, it looks like all I need to do is get an officer down stealthily. Hello? And uh, it unlocks enough secrets that the rest of them can be taken out, however. Boop. So there we have it. That should now be the rest of the secrets in the level unlocked. And not only can I see the location of the other commander, but... Uh, I don't really need to be stealthy anymore. So if I fuck it up, so be it. Hey, boo boo. I'm gonna shoot you. Ha. All right, two for two. And yep, no more targets were added, so I'm guessing that it's time to murder. Uh, I'm gonna start with. God damn it, for real? God damn it. Ain't that some shit? I can't assassinate him because his armor's too thick. Because I don't... I don't believe that I have to be... Uh... Crouching to assassinate. At least I haven't in the past. Come on, please let me be far enough away that his aim sucks. Good. I was about to say, my health is still holding up pretty strong, so I'm... I believe in myself. I believe in the me that believes in me. And I go ahead and pick up all of his armor for good measure. Yay! Uh, fuck your turret. My turret was all the way charged. I don't know what you've been doing, who you've been shooting at. Little old me. Poor little old me, you trying to shoot little old me? Why would you do that? That's just rude and unfair. Okay, uh, it looks like I actually kind of went over into this room a little bit already, which I did, and I might have missed something as I was meandering through. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me take a look, see back over here. Back over, no, nah, no. Nah. I don't need that armor, but I do need that Enigma code. Awesome. I still have no idea what that does or how you figure them out. Like, I know that it 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 sits uh, on an Enigma machine, and I know that there's a certain way that you can decrypt those things, but I have no idea what the pattern is or how you're supposed to even really find that out, uh, because unless some of those math problems that we've seen every so often, or some sort of clue that I did not pick up on at the time. I got nothing, bruh. Okay, yep, that's literally back to the beginning. Cool. You know what? <sighs> Sorry, turret, you gotta get dropped. Nope, not that way. There we go. I was like, where's the open door? I know that there was an open door. Cool. So I guess if we've gotten everything, and I believe we have, we go out C and up the elevator. Uh, ooh, long way up. Fourteenth floor. Ladies, where? My heart is breaking. Friends I've known my whole life have all become Nazis. Mother mm. and father are not happy about it, but they comply rather than resist. I feign my smile and act cheerful, but I have started to resent my own parents. I am 33 years old. I am all alone in the world. 
Yeah, I imagine, like I said earlier, it's not gonna get a whole lot better before it, before the end of her tale. It just keeps going down. Speaking of going down, uh, all I see is Nazis around me, and thankfully they haven't noticed me yet. Nope, and now they've noticed me. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I guess it's time to break out the big guns. Eh. Yep. Because they are super effective. Boy, howdy. Oh, death to Poochie. Death to Space Poochie. Stop it. God, they're so annoying. I wish, I wish that there was some sort of doggy radar that I could equip that would let me know, hey, hey, BJ, there's a big old pooch coming around behind you and he's probably gonna jump on you and scare the shit out of you. Maybe you should be ready for that. Fucking goddammit. Hate those dogs. <laughs> Okay. Is everybody nice and dead now? Good. Fuck me. <laughs> I can't see them! Unfortunately, uh, they move a little bit quicker. And I'm not paying attention. But that's two separate issues. You know what, Queen? I recognize that I am just that sweet, but uh, I don't want them to numb on me that badly. No, thank you. That's how you get rust bees. It's like rabies, but from a metal dog. Rust bees. Okay. I see no question marks in here. So, all it must be is exclamation points. Which would be where the Nazis lied dead. Oh, or nothing. Okay, or just absolutely nothing. Well, I will say this, Harwood, if that be the case, then it's a good thing that there's only a couple of levels left. Because that means we're almost done killing Nazis. And then it'll be time for Wolfenstein 2. <laughs> okay, uh, two secrets up in here before I go ahead and hit that button. The first, I'm gonna guess, is somewhere over here? Nope, other corner. Good job, Jiggies. Up there? Probably. Alright, Enigma Code, and then. The other one lies just over here. God bless America. Why am I so bad at reading a map? Aha! It must be the health upgrade. Uh, did it get the uh, fuck? Did it get 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 the uh, get any of the thing? Uh, uh, get uh, two wires going together. Fuck it. How hard is it? Got it. And I got myself the health upgrade. Awesome. Whew. I am walking around at a hale and hearty 190 health by default. That is super swell. Hmm. Have I yet to explore B? I think I've yet to explore B. I'm kind of looking on the map to see. Yeah, right here exits to C. And it comes in, well, here-ish where we dropped in. We came around all the way. So I'm going to guess that this actually takes us over to B because, well, there's a B right there. And we get there by hitting this button. All right. It's okay. It's just Pretty an old Apple II. Everything's fine. Somehow the Apple II survived even in the Nazi revolution. That should tell you something. I think I chose a bad time to start drinking. <laughs> The good news is, I think while I'm crouched, the doggy do can't do his lovely uh, little bite your face off routine. So maybe, just maybe, 
That is the smart move to make. Not us gong? I wonder what that means. Do not open. Emergency hatch. Deep hole. May 6th, Next diary entry. I should keep fighting, but who is there to fight? Everyone is a Nazi now, or at least they pretend to be. I can no longer tell the difference. Yeah, at that point, it's it's kind of hard when, as far as your eyes can tell anyway, you're the last one left that's fighting anymore. Okay. I guess this is taking us whew, up a back way into here and I'm guessing that's gonna lead us to be maybe one of the two hip ooh I know what to do Pew. <laughs> and then I think I saw another Nazi around here somewhere patrolling these here halls good news is he has not don't noticed his dead comrade somehow I don't know how maybe he just did not you know look immediately to his left and that door's not gonna open because I'm supposed to drill through I think this place is under lockdown at this point. And let us oblige them. Ta-da! If you can't get through the door, make a new one. Even in spies. Oh crap. Oh, that's that's eating all my bullets. There we go. Use lasers on the big guy, Tim. It usually works a whole lot better. Not gonna lie to you. Okay, uh, looks like there's not a whole lot left in this area for me. Can I maybe get myself a nice little suntan under these lamps? No. Sadly in space, no one is able to help you tan either. All those UV rays, they're, they're too busy blocking August them out. August 28th, 1960. Deaths heads men are coming by the asylum every other week. They are taking oh, people there. Oh, and that makes all of our recordings. Years. Uh, all I have left is one piece of Nazi way. gold, I and we'll have gotten all of the secrets I in this stage. Go us. us. But I can't fight. I don't think we've done that anymore. in quite a while. I watched the men with this. Like all the secrets first run through. I, I went back and got Sometimes I can see some part three stages mistake. worth, I think, on I this run when it hadn't picked up the rest of the Enigma codes, the health upgrades, that sort of thing, the gold, and the letters. The and then I went back and got two stages some worth of the, the armor upgrades, which I think was a long time ago. three? And some of them three armor upgrades that I picked up? One stage had one, one stage had two. I miss you. If I'm not mistaken. I missed you a long time before I met you. Wait, so was that the big reveal at the end of the diary that this diary wasn't about Ramona? It was about Anya. Wow. Well, I guess that gives us all the more reason to get home to her, right, boys? Who am I to disappoint? Okay, well, that's nice and recharged. Let's go ahead and pump these guys up. They've served us pretty well so far. I mean, let's let's face it. Very few things seem to kill a lot of these space Nazis better than, well, Lakers. One more secret right around the corner. Are you gonna try and stop me? Are you boys actually gonna try and stop me here? Because you're gonna have to try a whole lot harder than that. Like I was expecting at least one giant unavoidable robot, but it looks like I was able to outwit them all. And I am happy. Um. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Golden champagne bottle. It blended in very nicely with the uh, 
gold tile behind on, on the floor. I can hardly see it. And with that, please the fuck up out of here, y'all. So this is gonna take us to yet another part of the lunar station. I wonder if. Oh wow! The surface of the moon. That's cool. I wonder if uh, we will enter a new level kind of quietly or if it. Oh god! Did I say quietly? I definitely did not mean quietly. Uh, I wonder if we're technically entering a new level now. Because it hasn't really given us the, well, you exited the level. Music, or portion. Oh, I was like, I'm fucking stuck. How do I, emergency hatch. The Nost Gang, duh. Oh, Jesus. And unfortunately, they're starting to sneak down the rails, but I guess they didn't learn. Because you shouldn't do that. Can I Can I just plug him off from all the way down here before he even has a chance to make his way down the hallway? You bet your sweet asses I can. Uh Almost, Queen. I'm missing one piece of concept art, which is weird because normally the concept art you unlock either when you kill somebody special or uh when you do something special. Like get one of the collectible items or something like that. And I feel like I have done all of those things unless there was some sort of weapon that I didn't get that maybe I could have gotten the the concept art for or something like that but it's the only thing that I can think of that I'm missing recharge my rifles Unfortunately, that door doesn't open, but this one does, and there's probably some Nazis on the other side of it. Don't worry. I'm here. <laughs> they were sitting right at the top of the stairs. They're like, we're going to be so clever, we're going to sit here and ambush him right when he gets to the top of the... Oh, God, why did he stop running? And then they got blasted in the face. They're like, what? What? Why did he stop? Oh, God, my face! Pew, pew, pew. Weren't like a charm. I try and kind of cool it down every so often. Because I feel like these rifles can be very precise when you, well, take your time and don't just unleash the beast on everybody. Because it really doesn't take that many shots when you hit them in the right places. But if, like me, you sometimes just want to unload. They can do that too, just just not quite as well, we'll say. Does that, does that sound fair? Hey, what about you, security guard that's in the security booth? Are you gonna come and join the foray or are you, gonna, you're, you're just stuck in there? Oh shit. I didn't realize that my uh, pistol was out of ammo like literally out so by the time I started trying to kill things well I had, I had it pointed at the wrong guy to do any anything actually good uh, I did not have access to my assault rifle to be able to follow it up with anything and on top of all of that there's the last concept art I kind of should go back and recharge cuz well my rifles need it I see a terrorist is here to stop my sheep. Well, that's great. You're going to have to deliver me down to Earth. Or deliver me the codes. Whichever one comes first. Or I'll deliver you death. Nice, boys. That is what I'm talking about. And I think I have just enough time to recharge both of my guns before he's able to round the corner on me. Nailed it. Excuse me while I just lean out and ruin days. Hi. How's it going? I see you're new here. I'm BJ. I end lives. Woo. I kind of dig his metal mask. That's awesome. Do 
But yeah, that's definitely where, um, you remember those guys that were in the vats that we kind of talked about being the prototypes for, for the big robots? Yeah, I'm definitely thinking that that was the case now because it looked like underneath that uh, metal mask was exactly that. That grungy, nasty face. Hello, knock, knock, knock. Nazi delivery man? You have an unexpected package. Oh, I, I wait. I'll wait. I'll wait for you to finish your phone call. Tell him everything's fine. Maybe we should have just waited for him to hang out. Wow, BJ. Nope, you don't. Yeah, he's already gone. He's already gone. I feel like that one, that first stab probably did the trick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's bad, right? off the surface of the moon. What the fuck, BJ? Cold air. <sighs> Still alive, it seems. I love how badass he is. Oh my god. These guys aren't gonna know what hit him. As soon as I can get out of this thing. Bam! Bam! Oh, fuck, bam! Bam! Let's take out as many as I can before I have to switch up to uh, killing giant robots. Um, I'm still kind of stuck in here. Until it falls off the edge. Okay, good. Now I can get out. I was like, wait a goddamn second here. Woo! Too close. Just a little bit too close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. George of the jungle! Watch out for that me. Oh, God. That was just a lucky perch to land on. Seriously, I don't know how we got out of that one. Oh wait, I should probably go ahead and put the silencers on. Not because I need to be silent right now, but because I need to be more accurate. And the silencers do just that. And a bit more conservative with my ammo too. Also, uh, did I just notice a ricochet, a ricochet shotgun somewhere around here? Cause I think I'm gonna have some fun with that. Excuse me. Pardon me. Collecting the ammo. Don't mind me. Just found myself some dual assault rifles. This is gonna be great. Yeah, buddy. You thought you was gonna get the drop on me. Because you saw me duck down behind this sofa with two pistols. But when you came around, it was two assault rifles. <laughs> what you gonna do, sucker? Get killed. Hmm. This would be a good place to hide some Nazi gold somewhere around here, but I don't uh, I don't see anything Maybe back here. Nope. Nothing. Done. Oh, there it is. Enigma code piece. I was like, wait a minute. I, I just I know that there's something around here because I, where where the fuck else would you put it? Seriously? You gotta put a thing in the first area of the stage. That's, that's item hiding 101. And they have not done the thing where the item is behind where you start as of yet. So I keep checking for it. Now that it's happened, I probably don't have to keep checking for it anymore. It's probably not gonna happen. Again. But now that I have found it. Hmm. I imagine it would probably never happen again. Interesting. So if I shoot that chain, yep, it drops it down. If I shoot that chain, oh fuck me. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Did I just screw myself over? 
into not being able to make it over to the next area at all? I think I just did. I'm pretty sure I just fucked myself hard. Man. God damn it. I hate when I do that. <laughs> Motherfucker. Well. Uh, I guess. Can I go up here? No. There's no other way for me to go around, is there? Not really. Fucking shit. Why is that a thing that you can do? Why is that a thing that it is possible for you to do? To be fair, I did kind of have to lean out and around the corner to be able to do that. So I guess it's mostly my fault, but still like, oh my God. What a dick move game. Dick move. Okay, we drop one side down. Only one side. And now we drop this other side down. Only one side. Hep. And now we can run across. And just so no one can follow me. Bye. Fucking piece of shit, girder. Huh. Okay, so I guess that I'm supposed to lower this gal so that I can maybe make it into those open windows. Is that is that my objective here, maybe? Excellent. Well, the good news is I'm in some very narrow corridors now, so uh, I'm feeling that me and my shrapnel bullets are about to become very acquainted. Especially considering the fact that I can't be hit by my own shrapnel bullets, which is kind of the most amazing thing ever. Really? I was about to say, did that first guy like do some serious matrix maneuvering around every single one of those shrapnels? No, just second Nazi. <coughs> nice. Got myself a brand new Enigma code piece. Project Venus. Are, are, are the Nazis going past the moon? Maybe so. Wow. I would be amazed if they could make it through the ammonia soaked uh, atmosphere of Venus. I see another exclamation point somewhere around here. Oh, right here. Woo. Really? Uh, did it. Awesome. So I guess that did bring it down, which lets us come around here. And I'm wondering because it was a, a, what do you call it? Hot wire ability. Is that gonna lead us to the health upgrade? Is the health upgrade gonna be somewhere around here? Because on these type of paths, that's usually what happens. Um, this is where it would vary from one side to the other, depending on the timeline that you chose, you know? So I'm going to guess that somewhere in this general vicinita is going to be a, a lovely long lost health upgrade. At least that would be so very vulnerable. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell is the point of this rubble, uh, rubble, uh, 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 alcove here? If there's not a way to get around to where we were gonna go, and there was. So, I guess it was just to get a, a drop on the situation. Which, in the end, we didn't really need. Hmm. But the bad news is, is I'm not really seeing any health upgrade. Unfortunately. Kind of hoping it would have reared its ugly head by now because you can't go back from this area either. So I'm actually gonna take a second look around here just to be sure. It would be like in a drawer like that.
Or maybe underneath the desk? No? Hmm. Nothing at all, hey? Okay. Alright then. Onwards we go. Look, when it gives me an opportunity to uh, not return to where I came from, you kind of got to really examine, well, do I need to go that way? Because I imagine this is probably where it would meet up with the path if you went with uh, uh, Private Wyatt. Yeah, Wyatt, right? I hear a minigun being fired from somewhere, but I don't see a minigun being fired at me from anywhere. Oh my god, it's a mis it's a it's a helicopter. It's a goddamn chopper. Uh, I guess I should go ahead and switch out to some rackets, because I've got a full I've got a full load here. I've got a full load and the opportunity to fire back. So let's give it a go. Can I perhaps destroy a Nazi chopper? God damn it. It would help if I didn't miss. Direct hit. Got two more rockets. Can't miss. Shit. Shit. Also can't die. Also took out the helicopter. Awesome. And found a nice little handy map of uh, the hotel. I think this is a hotel. Is this a hotel? I'm pretty sure we're in a hotel right now. Oh, here I was thinking I was doing something bonus objective like nope just the main goal kill the chopper fair enough <laughs> I kind of forgot I still had rockets equipped <laughs> whoopsies ah, I was like please Lord my health is uh, waning and fast Thankfully, I happened to find 40 health. Wow, uh, was that a bin of flour that I just happened to shoot behind him? Because that was a big white explosion. And I'm gonna guess it's not cocaine. I don't know, Nazis don't seem like the cocaine type. Or maybe they seem exactly like the cocaine type, I don't know. It's been a little while since I've been in that crowd. Okay, so I found an enigma code around here, which probably leads me to believe there's not going to be much else. Uh, but there are two pieces of Nazi gold, and I don't think I found either of them as of yet. So I do need to keep looking. Uh, the other interesting note is that I have not seen any ossifers to destroy either. So either they don't exist on this level, and I have no way of finding the secrets before, well, I just happen to find them. Or, we haven't encountered them yet. Hello? No, just ammo. And a closet from which to spawn enemies. Dirty little secret of game design. If you don't really have anywhere in the architecture for enemies to spawn from, build a closet instead. There was? I thought... I thought the thing that I bypassed was the big guy. No? Okay. Damn. I certainly didn't mean to bypass an officer, that's for sure. What the fuck is that? No. Oh. For a second there, I thought that was actually going to be something useful. Never you mind. Hmm? Again, same type thing. Never you mind. Thought that was going to be for something useful. It was not. Damn it. Okay. Uh, am I... Am I supposed to maybe keep going down? <clears throat> Crap. Not that far down. Not that far down, BJ. Not that far down. I definitely saw some more Nazis. So I think I found where I'm supposed to go. But went too far down. All the way down too far down. I think I'm supposed to drop here. 
And then here. Now we're at the right place. Now we're cooking with natural gas. Now we're throwing grenades. Blow it up, Nazis. Uh oh. Go down. Go down. Go down, you terrible prom date. Awesome. I think I got both of them. Now it's just me and shotgun boy. It's okay, I got more than enough heavy machine gun rounds for you. I just gotta make sure that I can actually reload them properly. Stop it! Jesus. He almost got me, but good. Wow, I don't know what kind of uh, uh, Polish dissented hardiness Allowed us to, to live out that with one HP left. But somehow we survived. Woo! Oh, trust me, Queen. <clears throat> I have said and will say far worse. Hello? Nice! Another Enigma code. That should be all of them, right? Yeah. But still no Nazi gold. Huh. I, w I hope it didn't blend in somewhere and I just happened to miss it. But hey, at least we got all the Enigma codes. That's good. Still kind of looking around. I should probably be checking up underneath a lot of these staircases too. Staircases, a lot of these little scaffoldings too. So I imagine that would probably be a good place to put people. What? The London Monitor is coming. Are you talking to me or about me? Oh no, they're talking to me. I am now gonna have to kill that thing? Oh, fuck a duck. Seriously, I'm gonna guess that up underneath each one of those little lotus blossoms is a giant array of missiles. So how the Frenchy toast am I gonna do this? Uh, laser, that's a lot of armor right there. That's a lot of health. Okay, how am I going to defeat the London Monitor? I'm gonna guess that bullets don't do the trick. Oh, uh, wait a goddamn second here. Whoa, that just destroyed the tunnel. Am I? Ah. Crap, 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 get in the hole. Am I to maybe get up underneath it and shoot it from under? Let me switch back to you, baby girl. Jump, Jiminy Christmas. That is a lot of death he's laying out. Yeah, unfortunately that's not helping either. They're literally just bouncing right off. And I imagine the effect would be the same if I were to use the, uh, yep, definitely destroyed that. Oh, wait a second. He opens up whenever he, excuse me, does that big, excuse me, laser attack. So maybe, I have to be a big brave boy. Yep. And hit him, use your laser and shoot it in the eye. Never mind. I guess, I guess just telling me how to do it works better too. Ow. It's a big old death laser he just shot at me. Stop it. Okay, eye is not exposed yet. Let's wait for the eye to expose itself. There. Ah. I see. And then once it blinded, or once it is blinded, then what? Oh, shit. Yep. Big giant missile array. Called that from a mile away. 
I know what missile pods look like. I've built my fair share of giant mechs, thank you. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna guess that I actually have to destroy all of the missile arrays by blinding it. Come on, open up. Ah. Good boy, say nummy nummies. In my tummy tummies. Good boy. Uh, let me go ahead and duck back under. <clears throat> it's gonna keep on shooting, shooting its main guns until it. Bingo! Ready's the big giant eye laser. And that gives me the perfect opportunity to fire again! Excellent. That's two more chambers down. Dude, we are just destroying this thing. I could not be happier right now. You're gonna use your turrets? Shit. Okay. Unfortunately, it can't use its turret and its big giant eye laser at the same time. See, so if it's gonna do one, you kinda have to run away and wait for it to do the other. Boom! Shakala Kala. Now that is what I am talking about. Awesome. So the missile pods are gone. I can keep shooting it in the big giant eye, but it's not dead yet. Jesus Christ, it's not dead yet. But it's gotta be getting close. Oh, look up underneath. Look up underneath. Yes, sir. I can shoot that engine if I can just run, slide, and hide. Crap, crap. Those are flamethrowers. Those are flamethrowers. Stay in the eye of the storm, BJ. Stay in the eye of the storm. Yep. It can't hit you. You're directly underneath it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't stay there for very long. Ow! You mean like that? Out. Yeah, it's prepping that laser again, but unfortunately it's not looking anywhere near me. So I can't shoot it. Or I can't see it. Which means I can't shoot it. Fuck. There's no... Oh, God. I could have swore I saw like a big giant robo dog underneath me or something. I was about to be real scared there for a second. There we go. That's right in its core hole. Oh boy. Got away with nine health left. Shit. I should probably look around the surface for any extra health, but I doubt I'm gonna find any at this stage of the battle. Really? 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 Really, monstrosity? You're gonna teleport your head like that? Just because I'm around behind you? Wait. That should mean the engine's open, right? If it just fired, fuck. There we go. Now's our chance. Run, running, running, running. Fuck! Not close enough. So close, yet not close enough. And it just closed back. God, ugh! I'm gonna wait for that to stop. That's super annoying. And plug it right in the exhaust port. Awesome. The London Monitor has been destroyed. Finally, someone, somebody stronger than Metal Gear. <laughs> DJ? Oh, that one. But you call me Death's Head. I don't like it. It's a I feel like it's a name that's honestly earned, sir. Has nothing to do with your demeanor and everything to do with your actions. English said correctly. What is it? Tottenkoth? I feel like that's a name that should mean more to me right now. Tottenkopf? Hmm. 
Help, I put you in the car. We have to drive. Paddling down Shins Creek now, Johnny Cowboy. I hope we can make it back home in time. Berlin. Come in, Berlin. Why? What's going What's on back steps? there? Is everything okay? You sound a little bit more panicked than you should be. Place is overrun with death's heads, man. I think they're being led by your old friend, Frau Engel. Ah, I see. Oh. Caroline's with me. We've taken cover in the helicopter hangar. The trapped. Nazis So it has gotten a hell of a lot worse. They found our way into the base. Oh, no. A lot of fallen. Someone hanging on. We're gonna have to find everybody. She knew this day was gonna come. Uh, it's just a matter of time before they find all of us. <laughs> and now I have to go and save them. Well, looks like those Duke boys got themselves into another mess. Oh! <gasps> Come on, Johnny Cowboy. It's time to act. Max? Max! Max, no! I... Max! Let me pick up their guns. Just because I want to be able to protect you, Max. Jesus. Uh, hey, you guys, but a little bit of respect. We have a dead man down here. Hopefully not two of them. Three of them. Shit. Uh. Max, you might wanna, you might wanna go ahead and move on out, buddy. These guys are coming and they're coming hard. Don't know how long I'm gonna be able to hold out while you sit there and grieve, buddy. There we go. Yep, bring him with us. Bring him with us. That's 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 gonna be a good action. Found ourselves a back entrance. I'm hoping into the hideout. And away we go. Max? Max, no! Well, looks like we have a little bit left of our mission, and it's about to get very deadly for a whole lot of Nazis. And that's exactly what we're going to do when we come back, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, we're going to take ourselves a short little break right here, and when we come back, we're going to finish out this game. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Ah! I can't remember the last time I enjoyed myself so much playing a story shooter like this. I, I fucking, I am in love with this game. And we're going to go ahead and round it out when we come back. I feel like we are like penultimate mission right now. This is, it feels next to the last mission. And that makes me very interested in what's about to come because it's been such a great story so far. So you stick your butts right there. Enjoy the music while we take a break. You watch this on twitch.tv slash timleftwitch or youtube.com slash timleftwitch. That's right, YouTube people. I see you over there. You better keep watching. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a situation gone from bad to worse. Turns out all of our friends... A lot, of, a lot of uh, everything that we had left to fight the Nazis with has been taken from us. And BJ has one chance to get it back. I say one chance, but you know what? I imagine if we do fuck it up, uh, we'll have a chance to uh, take it all back and try again. But uh, I don't think we'll need it today. Because I went ahead and got myself uh, that, that first... Uh, kill of the officer immediately, which means I should have a couple of secrets unlocked. One in Klaus's room and one in Max's room. Interesting. I wonder why I haven't found those up to this point. Maybe they hadn't existed yet. Oh. 
poor girl. I, re I, I remember her. She was the one that was up under the, the stairs with her bow, if I'm not mistaken. And what turned out to be their place of final embrace. I wonder, I actually kind of wonder if I can make my way up to my attic bed and have one final nightmare here in the flames. <laughs> how fun, how funny would that be? Any Nazis left and standing here? Yup. Crap. So I'm gonna have to make sure that they uh, can't stand no more. Boom, baby. Good start. Bad finish. Terrible finish. Terrible, terrible finish. Fuck. Yes, I see you, Deathhead. Quit staring at me like that. Quit looking at me. Quit looking at me with that tone of voice. Not very nice. Okay. Uh, did I say? Did I say he gets one shot? He actually gets like as many as we need. Which we'll start again. Gotcha, bitch. Maybe the knife is a poor choice. Because it does leave me exposed rather well. Perhaps we should switch over to the silence pistol instead. There we go. This should be a little better. Pew. Did we... Did we take him out before the entire area was alerted? Because that would be nice. I mean, I don't I don't hear any other firing from upstairs. So I think we might be okay for now. Good. I'm still gonna keep my pistol out. And I am super digging the music in this place. Uh Fergus in, in that Fergus's room? It's locked from the inside. Uh isn't there another way in there though? I feel like there might have been another way in there. And maybe I'm misremembering. Hey, I got something fancy for those boys. Damn. Did I... Did I end up just hitting the wall with those fucking rockets? I think I might have, might have ended up just hitting the wall instead of... Uh, the shotgun boy with those rockets. In which case, I'm awful ashamed of myself. Uh, also, I have eight rockets available <clears throat> on this boy, so let's try that again. Yeah, yeah, rockets work. Rockets work really well when you actually use the rockets. Where? From whence? From whence does they come? From whence they shall be destroyed. Oh, no, this is Fergus's room. Okay, so what was the one downstairs? Caroline's room, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, uh... Poor lovers, they died in each other's arms. Trying to defend themselves, probably, but... I don't know what one pistol was gonna do against all of those Nazis. And, unfortunately, my room is completely engulfed in flames, so there's not much that I can do in there. Now, that's Max's letter. Max's letter just says Max, 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 Oh, look at that shit. That's just sad. And then I'm gonna guess that there's Nazi gold in here. Yep. Nazi gold shoehorn. Awesome. Just in case I need to put on my bigger jackboots to be able to kick some ass around here. Really? All the way over there, huh? Okay, fine. I'll make my way there slowly but surely. Because through, th through the smoke and stuff, it's kind of hard for me to tell exactly where he is. And the splash damage from the rocket launcher isn't quite as good as you would expect. If I'm being quite frank with you. So you really want to make sure that you're on target when you fire those things. Nope. Damn. No last nightmare mission. I'm guessing it's over. But we can finally figure out what the fuck is behind this grate because we actually have use of our laser craft work gun. I see you. <gasps> hey. Crazy lady. Everything in accordance with the numbers. 
This day, the number of consequence is 19. Apparently okay. Not. For the math to square, each and every one on our side must be 19. 19 on theirs, on average, and then we win. Cool. I'm pretty, pretty sure that I can stack. handle killing 19. Not wow, 11 in the stack. Wow. Remember if I thank them, should thank them Good lady. But I have accumulated an additional seven through other means prior to this day. I'm on the move. Wow. So the you have done your part. Chicago. What you're saying is you have officially done your part. The model is loyal to universal causality. You ask me to rebel against the laws of nature, don't you see? The road in front of you is long and so hard. I, I know. I have to kill like two more Nazis because I killed a bunch on the way in. I don't know if you heard. I am glad. Good. Oh. Well, there goes another one holding their own. Two more added to the stack, and she's done for. Man, only one more, and she would have been a free lady. Damn. Unfortunately, the numbers were just not on her side today. She fought bravely. Quit looking at me, Nazi! Jesus. That is a big old stack of men. I imagine it's everything she always wanted. Yeah, Pascal, should be one entryway to the hangar through a sewage tunnel. I think. Be careful, like, this place is brimming with the ugliest fucking Nazis you've ever seen. Yeah, and a lot of them, too. Good thing they just gave me a couple of more, uh, ra uh rockets. So we can get ourselves in just enough trouble to die horribly. Uh, there's another grenade. I think I will go ahead and take it. I need to actually kill a couple more enemies with grenades uh, in order to unlock the next perk, I think. So let's maybe use those while we're taking out these robots. That'll probably be our best bet. Oh, let me go ahead and take out both of the escorts. Excellent. So now, it's just me and them. Cool. That was one grenade doing its job. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and do that again. Yep, exact same play. Exact same play. Different placement. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck! Should have shot him with a rocket. I had a rocket, point blank range, and I instead tried to knife him because, you know, explosive damage. But I really feel like I had enough health at that point that I probably could have taken it. Instead, I just got shot a bunch. Okay, that kicks us up to 100 health. And also, I could have swore that I got rid of all of the escorts, but I guess not. Maybe I missed one. Boop. Takes care of him. And... to hoo So there must have been a third. Patrolling somewhere around and I just didn't see him. Probably because he's what? Underneath me or something? I'm gonna guess. Or maybe he comes out of somewhere? I don't know. All right. Less important to me now than it was. Go ahead and get fully reloaded here. Whoa. One rocket was enough to kill him? Really? Huh. Figured it would have taken more than that. I guess I got him just right. Cool. I mean, uh, not that I'm going to complain. Really. At the end of the day, one good, one dead Nazi robot is as good as another. And now I'm back to just my regular light munitions. And also, where are they coming from? It's like they're multiplying. The amazing, uh, magical Nazis. They just keep multiplying from one another. <laughs> they're budding. And not like in the 14-year-old need to shop for a training bra kind of way. In the uh, spawning and respawning. Are we back? Oh, we're definitely back. <clears throat> so I, I'm not really sure what happened there. All of a sudden, all the power went out in my house 
for a split second. But it was just long enough to knock everything down, unfortunately. So we kind of have to do this part again. Even after we did it successfully the last time. But it's okay. Now that we know exactly what we're doing, everything will be fine, right? It'll be much easier this time. In fact, now we know. Huh, to throw the, throw, throw the. Damn, those grenades really do not get as many kills as I hope they would. Uh, you're. I think one of my, uh, my next explosive objective, uh, is to get a certain number of machine kills with grenades. And unfortunately, that's proving to be a little bit more difficult than than originally thought. Because the grenades tend to bounce a lot more than you would like for them to do. Fucking die already! God damn, I went through 100 health. <sighs> well, one of the people that I was hosting while we were kind of away for a second was um, the guy that actually did the artwork for the new emote that should be approved any goddamn day now. Depending on however long the uh, process takes this time. His name is Lumpy. Okay, let's try this again. Boo! Boo! Excellent. And now I'm gonna wait. And boo! Fuck, reload. Really? Ah, damn it. Somehow I missed picking up these four rockets that were over here. Reload them! God damn it, BJ! You're killing us here! That got him. Awesome. And so we went ahead and picked ourselves up a few more rockets. Uh, I, I, I remember there being more Nazis. Okay, I was about to say, I remember there being like four or five that came out of nowhere for me to kill, and not just two. They had already come out and had taken up shelter on the other side because I guess they saw their friends being killed and were like, that was two. Yes. Them too. No one escapes the wrath of PJ Blaskowitz. <laughs> yeah. That turret is much better. Uh oh. Enemy spawn point. That's good to know. What about back here? Anything special? Nope. Just another enemy spawn point. And I'm gonna guess that's actually what's behind uh doors number three and four over here as well. But, well, I guess just door number three. But, for the sake of completion, armor. Cool. There were some gains to be had. Not many, but some. Hey, Dan. Welcome. I, you know what, dude? We have made some serial progress. Like, considering how poorly I've actually been playing and how many times I've died tonight, uh, we've made some pretty fucking great progress, all things considered. So, I'm... Happier than I should be. And we've done some pretty badass stuff too. Like I won't I won't necessarily go back through all of it because you are still playing it. Oh fuck. Wait, what? Whoa, wait, what? <gasps> Iron Ferg No. Iron Caroline. Awesome. Try not to get Fergus killed, please. Wait. Out of ammo and essentially defenseless. Okay, I was gonna say, so he gave you the suit, which is exactly what I told him to do, which is awesome. So, uh, dude, that is fantastic. She's hanging on to that chopper like it's nothing. Oh, Caroline. Caroline in that power armor is so awesome. Please tell me that I get it at some point. Like, I don't want her to have to die in it. I want her to give it to me, you know? And it's like, oh my god, big Uber, Uber down, Uber hound, Uber panzer hood. Um, I think I need something bigger. I think I need something a bit more kaboomy. Here, boy, fetch. Oh god, he doesn't like playing fetch. Fetch is not his game. Perhaps he would like to play Parcheesi instead. I'm really great at Parcheesi. Oh, I have four more rockets. Uh. Fetch! Damn it. Fetch! Fuck, stop, boy! Heal! Motherfucker. He healed too good. 
Unfortunately, it's not enough. Uh, what about lasers? Lasers! Take my lasers! Okay. Lasers is the way to go. Lasers is definitely the way to go. Uh, you know, here's the thing, Dan. I really want to put that the other way around. I think that Doom 100% took its gameplay back from this game. Um... They've always kind of mirrored each other, but especially now that they both got made by Bethesda and id like you really can see Exactly where they line up and it's in all the right places uh, the, the character development at being done like, I think I kind of talked about it the other night But I don't remember whether you were here for that discussion. So whatever I'll it bears repeating uh, Hey Fargus, I heard you were ammoless and defenseless here have have some shotguns Damn I wanted to give it to him the hard way. All right, level done. Um, so this game does a lot more cutscene-based stuff, and BJ Blazkowicz is obviously much less of a silent protagonist. Hey, Max. Thanks for bringing the dead guy along. Oh, he's not dead yet. But uh, I feel like gameplay-wise, they're relatively the same. I love the ten, uh, ten weapon gameplay style. You know that, and, and that kind of brings up ties the two together the, the sliding the running the jumping the very visceral um they added in the ability to kill or uh, execute low health enemies in doom and then obviously made um a lot of the health and ammo pickups come out of the enemies themselves you know uh they added a lot more to the sprawling map areas that have secret things and 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 exactly what those secrets do um but I will say this, I, I know now what the codexes do, and those are pretty fucking cool. So I like that, uh, I, I, I think that few game companies get enough credit for proper iteration. You know, a, a lot of game companies get a lot of shit when they bring out a sequel and it does too much or not enough. But I feel like when a game hits that sweet spot, like this one, and Resident Evil 7, and Doom, obviously, um... You kind of have to give them the proper credit where credit is due because that is really fucking hard to do. It's agony to dream like this. I did. Max was sad that Sometimes that the you know, he died. I'm sorry, Klaus. That sucks. But my point was still worth it. Huh? I guess I must have broke the zipper on this thing. Oh, never mind. I have a little pouch that I keep. Uh, all of my what we know of death, nail trimming accoutrement and, and uh, I thought I broke the zipper on it and I would be very sad if I had done that but I had not. I keep kind of playing with it down here in the in my desk which you guys can't really see off camera. They'll be returning fire so we'll need to dive again before the U-boat gets gubbed off. You guys wouldn't be knowing anything that was going on down here. Mm -mm, not at all. Get down to the lower levels. You don't know what this is. I could be doing anything with this hand. What's this hand doing? Once you don't know. Safely in the air, we prime the nuclear yes. warheads, fire the atomic bombs, level the whole site. A bit more battle. No more death set. Okay. We can do that. Be safe out there. I definitely think we can do that. Oh. I think that's the final kiss of death right there. Don't fuck this up, you magnificent cunt. <gasps> Fergus does like me. He really likes me. Ah! That's basically what that means in Scottish, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what that means. Fire the cannon. Okay. Wait a minute. Is that is that the way to fire the cannon? So then what was... I thought I saw another blue diamond somewhere. I guess not. Okay, fine. Okay, they're letting in the water. I imagine that it's basically the largest liquid-cooled system to ever exist. So, uh, let's see if we can't blow that fuse. First, we're gonna use it to blow up Death's head, then we're gonna use it to blow itself up. Okay, do I get a gun? Maybe? Oh, oh, 
Oh, I see. I get the big gun. How do I aim? I imagine it'll tell me in due time. I'll be ready to surface. There we are. Breaking the beached head. Death's head beach. Head. Ready the cannon. Cannon is prepped. Primed. Uh, you might want to fire it at the main tower. I'm just thinking it might be a good idea to fire it at the main tower. Oh, baby. Wait, that... Is that one of the twisty windies? It's one of the twisty windies. Oh, this is gonna fucking suck for them. And... Do the twist. Sweet. Jesus. Maybe fire off like three or four more of those, I'm thinking, BJ. I just, I, I, you know, maybe fire off a couple more. Nazi gold? Son of a bitch. Already with the Nazi gold. Wow. Uh, I see they're just gonna throw it at me this stage. Cool. Maybe fire a couple of more of those, BJ, before we decide to go in. I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. I feel like that might be, you know, a good idea. All right. Let's start off with a shoddy. I feel like uh, in these close quarters, that's probably going to be the best thing to grab around right now. I know, Dan. I said the same fucking thing. I was so mad. Oh, my God. You gave me that golden knife, and I got so excited. I was like, oh, man. I get to use this for the rest of the... Oh, fuck. He's still just the same dumb German knife. Damn it. They really should, like... As a uh, beating the game bonus, let you equip the golden knife. And it just one hit slices anything COD style. I feel like that would be great. That would actually be a really fun game mode where you don't have any guns really. Or maybe just the pistol and a knife. And see how far you can get with just the pistol and the knife. Hey pup. I got some pup shot for you. How you feeling? Yeah, good boy. You just got neutered. What, did I need to do that? No. Was it fun? You better believe it. Uh, not from the front, Dan. And I'm kind of talking about from the front. Now, uh, throwing knife. Throwing knife does the trick. But I mean just with regular melee knife. Nice. Give me them files. And uh, you know what? I think it's time to go ahead and swap out for uh, some re uh, ricochet ammo of our own. Yeah, buddy. How did that feel? How did that taste? Good? Oh, like your own medicine. Shit. I feel like I feel like this is the lobby scene in the Matrix, only way less elegant, and uh, and with lower production value. Well, you know what? If it was, now it is. The double wheeling. This is what made the difference between Neo and BJ. Hey, hey buddy, what is up? Wow! Just round the corner and there's a big old robo death. Okay, uh, reloading. Wow, uh, eat all of my shots, why don't you? Jesus, Jiminy Christmas. The good news is I've got more than enough, uh, to go around for all of you. And I'm pretty sure that I can switch to laser mode with these gals too. Which is good news for me. And terrible news for them. Awesome. Go ahead and use a uh, grenade of my own. That disabled him for a second and dead. Awesome. I kind of wish that I could get some Nazis caught up in the in the explosion from that guy, but uh, I feel like that that's a trick shot that even I have uh, ha would have difficulty making. 
You know? Okay. Thank you, Dan, for that very effective tip. Lasers were exactly the way to go. I'm gonna go around and pick up every single bit of ammo that I can, possibly some more armor bits. Uh, I found an Enigma code inside of this hallway, so that's a that's one secret cupboard. Let me go ahead and recharge it. Uh. I mean, yes, you can still do the knife takedown even while you're standing. What I'm talking about is like when you're just facing them and you slice them with a knife, it still takes like four or five knife slices uh, if you don't get that instant kill. So it would just be kind of a, a different way to, to play. Alright, shotguns ahoy. Um, I'm actually gonna guess this is the way that I'm supposed to go. Mainly because enemies are gonna be this way. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to say yes, Dan, because I remember there being times when we were like running around through the asylum. Fuck me. And had difficulty doing just that. Killing people with a knife, because that's literally all we had at the time. Also, I somehow have 23 goddamn rockets. So, I plan on using them. Uh, let me go ahead and break back out. Die laser craft work. Oh, this is gonna be fun. God damn it, really? I missed. The good news is I've got plenty. The bad news is they've got plenty of Nazis. Okay, I think uh, that was exactly the flanking maneuver that I needed there for my bonus to kick in. Seriously? Wow. There is going to be nothing left of the Nazi regime by the time I get done with just this area. <laughs> Talk about overkill. Ah, yes, queen. I will do just that. I will check that other side of the wall for secrets before I slap that boot on, which I'm gonna guess is take, gonna take us on to the next area. Um, hmm, interesting. I actually don't see where that one would have come out. At least not immediately, anyway. All right, let's check and see. Are there any secrets down there at the end? No. Damn. Oh well, worth checking. So it really is just two different ways out of here. Uh, that one would have actually given me a little bit more cover now that I look at it. And I'm guessing that this is act uh, that door is open by the button just over there. Uh, can I hit the button and maybe grab one of these uh, Gatling guns here? Or what if I grab the Gatling gun? And then hit the button. Is it going to make me drop the Gatling gun? Yes. But I can pick it back up again. Awesome. Anybody want to try me now? I have a very big gun. This is a very narrow corridor. I do not see how I can miss. Uh, 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 except for the fact that there's a lot of them. And they're really goddamn big. Oh boy. This is gonna be tough. Uh, rocket soldier I can go ahead and take out pretty easily because again, laser turret. So I don't have to worry about that, but you boys get a taste of your own goddamn medicine. Really? Really? You decide that in the middle of laser turret barraged territory, you're gonna just 
hop your wee little dome out there. That seemed like a good idea to you at the time, huh? That seemed like the thing to do right then. You deserved every bit of that headshot. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the dumbest Nazi of the entire regime. Wow. Okay, Biggin. I have been prepping for this fight. I've got another plasma grenade, which is gonna stun you for a second. And fuck. Let's see. I feel like these Nazis that are up here, I'm gonna be able to take out pretty easily with a pistol shot or two, as long as I've got my accuracy down. And with the reinforcements gone, it'll be much easier to pick out take out Big Daddy downstairs. God damn it. Fucking railing is getting in the way. Ow. Because he won't have as much reinforcement supporting him and, and, well, frankly, killing me from every angle. That is part of the problem right now. I definitely have enough munitions to be able to deal with him just fine. It's making sure that I deal with him and to him alone. Uh, let me go ahead and pump out. Oh, fuck me. Where did you come from? I just, I just wanted some rockets. I didn't want to kill na- ah. You know what? Get out of my way. Get out of here, boy. You bother me. Where's your father, son? Did he- Is he dead? Okay, I was about to say. Please tell me he didn't die already. And I did all of that work for absolutely nothing. I would be oh so disappointed. <laughs> What's he doing? Just hanging out. <laughs> Hmm. The old running gun. Oh, fuck me. All that time that I did, all that effort and energy and work that I just put in. One Nazi comes along and shoots me five times with five bullets and we're dead. Damn it, BJ. I thought you were made of tougher stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, let's try this again. Uh, I'm going to try and murder Ugh. the rocket guy from slightly further away this time. Or maybe, I don't know, should I let him get close? It's part of me that wants to go ahead and let him get close because I do have this marksman rifle. That even though it's not perfect for killing him, I would probably still get the job done. I'm gonna guess would probably still get the job done, you know? Fuck, I have already lost the higher ground. I have already seriously lost the higher ground here. Okay, that worked. Ugh. Running, 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 running. Ugh, the fuck. I immediately round the corner and get blasted in the face. How did I do so much better that last time? I guess by kind of just well, taking out the rocket guy when I was supposed to, instead of draining my my minigun away like an idiot. Yeah, turret's still the way to go. Is he dead? Okay, good, I think he's dead. And now I can go ahead and take out the other minigun boy, which should allow me to pick up his minigun and take out some of the other baddies that have just decided to impede on my parade. Yes, it is a parade of Nazi killing, so I understand why they would be sensitive about it. But, you know what? In the end, it doesn't really matter to me. They need to die all the same. Boom! <laughs> like a charm. Uh, hey, you look very allergic to knives. Fuck. Sadly, his friend was slightly better dodging, but uh, you know what? His acrobatic skill did not match up to my uh, gunplay. See what I mean? 
Like, some enemies, they, they it seems like the grenade's kind of attached to. And some enemies, it seems like they just bounce off of. And it's really... I guess there is a way to tell which is which. I don't know what the way is. Yeah. That works a little bit better. Also, I'm pretty sure that he just got hurt by his own Goliath's energy grenade there. I think I just heard him squeal. Crap. And now I'm out of energy on both weapons. Uh, well, I've got my craft work gun. Fuck. And it's in fucking... Ugh. There we go. It's in, uh, it was in torch mode at the time. Fuck, stop! Stop, Nazis! I need to save my laser craft work gun. You're not helping me. There we go. Is that gonna do it? That did it. Awesome. Uh, I need to find a recharge point. Well, actually, no, I don't. Because I got another uh, minigun. I got another minigun. And I'm going to use it. Hmm. What's interesting is I'm actually very close to a door that I could exit, I think. So should I just... Should I just go? I think I might need to just go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that I could just go. Everything according to plan. Uh, I know that they are Tesla grenades, so I think the assumption is that they are maybe electromagnetic. Also, they do they breathe them all the way down to the spines and brains too? And then put them in the giant bodies that we saw in the vats and then put those bodies into the armor? I'm I think that's what happens. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Talk about Uber Mensch. Also, I just noticed the bikini speaking back over here. Hello, baby. She's so sweet. She's been very sweet the last couple of days because we've been, well, uh, petting her very thoroughly, I'll say. And also getting rid of a lot of uh, excess hair that she's had recently. So I think she's very happy with us right now. Which is a nice change. Hmm. Anything behind here? Nope. There's no, no gold Nazi brains or spinal cords or anything like that around here. I feel like that would be a- Hey! You! You are the son of Frau Engel. I am pressing that fucking mouse button as hard as I can because his pencil thin mustache creeps me the fuck out. What's he gonna do to me while I'm sleeping? BJ like immediately checks to make sure his belt's still buckled. I think it's her lover and also son. And then she's gonna notice. Wait, is this a one-way video call? She can't see? Can she not see? Or is he standing in front of the camera? Oh, that's right in my shoulder! Oh, I guess the camera is a little bit closer than we thought. Hey, Kisty. Welcome. Glad you could join us. That's my knife. That's my knife that I rightfully out stole. This woman is my life. You understand? My everything. And she's gonna watch you die right now. I'm gonna bite his goddamn neck in. Just call me Mike Blaskowitz. Oh, as it turns out, there absolutely is. And now there's something wrong with yours. 
Good night, booby. Hi. Anything else to say? I didn't fucking think so. Call terminated. Ah. Ugh. That was cold blooded. Well, shall we proceed? I hate the taste of Nazi blood in my mouth. Uh, I will say, Kisty, this is a pretty quiet part. But I can turn the game up. Hello? Elevator? Anything working? Oh, I guess I can hotwire it. There's your problem. Aw, that's so sweet of Bubby. He even left me with all of my guns. Holy uh, shit! Oh, William, everybody. To you? Also, uh, yeah, I'm still under the effects of the effects of the, effects of the compound, and I got a hook in the shoulder, and and and. So like, we're in a bad way right now. I don't, is it going to fit all of us? There were a lot more people there just a second ago. Did they go in the other? Okay. They, mu they must have gone in the other elevator. Uh-oh. Okay, so now you should have a little bit better gauge. Do I, do I actually need to turn the game up a little bit? All right. You got it, Bambate. Okay, good. Not her son, just her lover. Still very creepy and very weird. Uh oh. I don't like the way that elevator sounds like it's about to fall. Oh, shit. Why would it go that way? I guess the other elevator car is falling and maybe they're counterweighted against each other? Oh, bye. Also, I'm really glad nobody lost a hand that way. Huh. What are you doing in there? An old friend come to visit? I haven't had a visitor like you in a long time. Don't worry, Death's Head. There's nobody else like me. Top floor. Death's door. Oh god damn it, he's got a laser proof laser proof glass. I think today we meet for the last time. Captain Glaskovitz. That's my name. Don't wear it out. I remember your friend. I see for his memory. Who? Wyatt? Remember him? In work like this, it is easy to be tempted to sense compassion. We must learn that this is pointless instinct, not fit for the master race. Are we gonna have to? Hoch, hoch, auf the oh no! That's one of the brains he took, isn't it? We're gonna end up having to fight Wyatt, aren't we? He's gonna remove the brain and spinal column. And that's what the surgical procedure was on everybody else. Oh my God, on all the bodies that were incinerated when we came in. Oh my God! And all he's got to do is load it into the machine. I would ask you to consider. In the end, we will be judged. 
not by what we have destroyed, but what we have created. Why is... Oh. Can you grasp the splendor of it? The intelligence of the human... But why did he need to take out the eyes? I'm still, I still, I still question, why did he need the eyes? It's not like the kid they could see, it doesn't have, you know, little googly eyes on the front of Wyatt. So, was that just a personal thing? Oh, fuck me. I have 20 health. Over there, I guess? What was that button on the wall? Machine man, clear the room. Unfortunately, Wyatt just took our lasers and knocked my big guns out of it. Oh my god, he's got my laser craft work gun now. This is bad. That's really bad. That's super duper bad. I am down to knives. Uh, Oh my god. And grenades. Cool. Knives and grenades. Knives and grenades we can do. Do you remember that thing that I was talking about earlier with the challenge? Yeah. Welcome to it. Oh. Oh shit knockers. I think I just got an idea. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea you guys. I just got a really bad idea. Okay. Um. Fuck. Okay, we throw the grenade. The Tesla comes out and. Fuck. Not quick enough. Do it again. Do it again. Ah! Shed knockers. I need to be able to hit him with a grenade, open up his backside, and pound it in. Wait, none of that came out properly, but you know what I mean. There, and E, E, fuck! I keep looking to see what the prompt is gonna be. Throw another goddamn grenade. There, and E him! Thank you! For the love of fuck! Can I maybe reverse the polarity on this thing and, I don't know, get him back on my side? We do know how to hotwire stuff now. To serve by your side. Never mind. I guess the quickest way is to destroy the brain. It's not very scary when you got four giant laser miniguns. Uh, fuck. All right. I see that he has a big giant Tesla coil that is powering the shield of his. So I'm going to guess that I'm going to have to do something to knock that shit off. Aren't I? Let's shoot off the shield first. Yep. Uh, I notice that these guys, while he's recharging, I might just be able to saw my way through and break to the other side. But what lies over here? Some grenades, another recharge point, fuck! And a bunch of exposure that unfortunately he's just gonna kill us behind. So, do I need to make sure that he's preoccupied with recharging himself before I do anything quite so drastic. I'm assuming so. Like that, we run through, switch back over to gun mode. Yep, maybe slap him around a couple times. Toss another grenade over. Pew. 
It's not a big enough pew. Thank you for opening up that for me. Uh, good. He's gonna be recharging for a second. That lets me run. Runny, 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 runny. Fuck. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Where is there? Oh my god, there's the anti-aircraft gun. I've got an anti-aircraft gun. And he's not in an aircraft. Oh! But the blimp is. What the French? Was there, was there anything to do there other than just destroy his Zeppelin? That Zeppelin's not gonna come down and like destroy the tower or anything fun like that. It's just down now. Wow, BJ. Maybe Death's Head got more of a point than you, than you want to admit, buddy. That was kind of a dick move. I mean, yes, they are Nazis, so they of course deserve it, but you know. Ooh. Look ye here while I jam away on the fucking E button with everything that I have uh, to reload all the guns. And I guess this time. I need to make it all the way over to the other uh, uh, anti-aircraft gun. Let me go ahead and make him. We have to reach on. Go back to your Tesla coil, you jackass. Cool. Gives me just enough time to sprint down the way. Go ahead and recharge my gun. Cause fuck it, why not? I've got plenty of time. And hup. I said hup. Hup, I say. Cool. Second blimp. Ready? Fire! One and done? Cool. One and done. It kind of is beginning to seem that way, actually. I would say... Oh, there it is. I'm assuming that now that those blimps were actually the, the the keys to the kite that is the Tesla coil upstairs. No. Gemma, before the day is done, I will have you on the end of my blade. Damn it. I was really hoping that uh, when he when he just ex exploded agonizingly right there, all that would have been left was his broken and bashed body. But no, instead, it's a giant hole in the ground, and I'm gonna get to him. No, Dan, I'm guessing not. Uh, uh, I believe that most of these blimp-related disasters could have been avoided. But you know, hindsight, as they say. talking to me you probably oh my god well he is definitely talking to me because there ain't nobody else like him in here um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up let's go ahead and get some rocket action in here yeah this feels like exactly the right time for it oh boom baby I know that he doesn't really have, like, he's got that blast shield in his face. But I still feel like I'm being very effective here. He's going through most of the fire. You know, I, I yeah, I, I feel like we're okay. You can barely see where he is now. Well, that means he can probably barely see me, too. Okay, yeah, I've got seven more rockets. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna be enough. Given given the very degraded state he's in right now, but I need way more health. Shit balls. Let's just hide for a second. Two more rockets. Boom, baby. Oh, fuck me! The valve right next to me decided to open up, fucking betraying my position and also uh, the rest of my health. 
God damn it. I didn't mean to, Dan. The valve fucking burst. It wasn't my fault. I didn't see it open up until, well, it was already open. Jerk. I'm gonna shoot him right in his robot dick. How about that? Okay, let's keep running around and just looking for more health. Huh? How does that sound? Beautiful. Oh. Come on, rockets. Awesome. Found myself four more rockets. Boom, baby. If only games had a temperature output. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If only there was some sort of visual feedback that would let me know that fire was around. Fuck. And now I'm out of rockets. Uh, but the other good news is I have plenty of laser. So perhaps this would be of value to you. Dead yet? Oh, I see him toppled. Hey, dead set. Had to meet you, Mink. You like to cut up on people, huh? Turns out I like to cut up on people too. Oh, nice, Dan. I would definitely say pick up oxen free. And in he turns on the incinerator, and that's where we kind of picked up from. I don't expect you to kneel. Bye. 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 Oh, so great. Wait, where's his other hand? Where's his other hand? Oh, fuck me. Three, two. Mutually assured destruction. You're clear. Fire. 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 A woman with a torch. Whose flame is the imprisoned lightning. And her name. Mother the new Vera. Colossus. That's her name, ladies and gentlemen. Come in, you're tired. You're poor. Your huddled mass is yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore. That's the name of that poem. That is the name of that poem that is on the base of the Statue of Liberty. To me. The New Colossus. Roscoe, do you read? I'm a clear to fire. Wow. Do you see it? Do you see the torso? God fucking. Bless you, Mr. Blaskowitz. I believe that the stars keep shining. And that's it. That's the end of the game. I believe if we just keep trying, it'll be That was fucking amazing. That was amazing. So here's the good news. We know just from the fact that they developed a sequel and also BJ Blaskowitz starts that game in a wheelchair, spoiler alert. Uh, he lives. Somehow, some way, some way that's not explained yet, he lives. And, um, fuck me, dude. That was amazing. 
So now with General Death's head defeated, and unfortunately Lady Ingles, uh, Frau Ingles still out there, I think she's going to wind up being the main protagonist for the second game. And of course the rest of the fucking Nazi regime. Because while we took out a definitive Death's head of uh, the Nazi party, unfortunately we still haven't quite hit the heart of it. And so I'm wondering if that's what's going to happen next. Um, you know, Dan, I don't think so. Uh, I, I did not hear great things about that DLC. And I also know that it's basically a prequel DLC. So I think I'm just going to leave that to you guys to play on your own if you're curious. Um, and... There's a small part of me that wants to go back and maybe find some of the parts with Jimi Hendrix and maybe attach it to the very end of this VOD. I might do that. So, yeah. Just so you can see some of the differences uh, and, and some of the Jimi Hendrix stuff because that is uh, part of the thing that we're going to miss going down the Fergus storyline, which honestly, I kind of like, I really loved. I really loved the Fergus storyline. It kind of had some great tension between the two of them. And I wish it had maybe gone a little bit further with that, but I liked where it went. Um, but if you go down the Wyatt storyline, you get access to another character uh, who is mysteriously named Jay and wears a uh, nice big bandana most of the time and is very alluded to hardcore as Jimi Hendrix. Uh, in fact, you there are like two different scenes I believe that you have with him where you're basically just tripping balls and playing guitar for a little bit uh, And and so I think what I'm going to do is put a little something down in the description and maybe at the front of this video uh, Saying that I'm gonna put it at the end of this video and then I'm also saying it right now So that's three different warnings that you get with this video this VOD on YouTube uh, To let you know that those are coming if you want to go ahead and get to there so, um, I have my work cut out for me, and, yeah, that was amazing. Is there an after credits scene? No. No. At least not as far as I'm aware. I need to know whether... I, need... I don't, I genuinely don't know whether there's any more. Like, whether there's a secret ending that maybe we didn't get because we didn't get all the collectibles yet. If there is, I'm going to find it out and put it at the end of the VOD. Um, if there's anything like that, that that might complete the experience for us. Now, I will go ahead and, and look into these Enigma codes real quick because I, I do have a lot of them unlocked. Uh, not quite all of them, as you can see. We are still missing a couple, but far less than you would actually think for a collectathon such as this. Um, now what these do, let me see if I remember the code here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh shit, seven, eight, nine. And then this I believe is also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a nine. No? Shit. Uh, was it maybe eight, seven, six? I happened to look these up earlier. I just don't remember the order that they went in. And that should be one. Bingo! Having cracked the Enigma code, I now have access to an alternate method of play. 999 mode. Uh, 999 percent more action start with 999 health unlimited ammunition and on uber difficulty so that's what these enigma codes do it kind of gives you um, what cheat codes used to do giving you a new a different way to play the game you know a different stats different difficulties I think there's even one that just gives you melee only options um, so yeah there's th there's those and I think it's kind of really cool uh, I don't remember any of the other codes, unfortunately, but I did remember that one, and I just kind of wanted to show you what they do because, well, I like that. I like that a lot. It does remind me m far more of the old school cheat codes. 
Uh, we found the gold chamber pot and the gold rabbit and the gold meteor and the gold face mask. That is definitely of Hitler. That is definitely a golden face mask of Hitler. Wow, I did not get to look at that when we picked it up. Um, some amazing concept art that we could look through. Wow, that fucking moon base. I remember destroying that moon diorama. That was fun. All the characters. Anya's grandpa, Anya's grandma. And I'm assuming that we could even take a look here. So let's look at the London Monitor. Oh, never mind. Damn it. I was hoping it would pull up like a full 3D model, you know, and you could look around it and shit. Unfortunately, it's just a picture. No. Awesome. So you can actually just go ahead and play the, uh, the German covers of all of the awesome songs that we picked up along the way. And if I had picked up more records, we would have more music, <laughs> including that of Carl and Carla. Germany's most favorite band. Anyway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to end for this evening, or at least as far as you guys who are watching the VOD are concerned. Uh, I think, I think we're going to take a short break and then we're going to come back and play something else. But as far as you guys on YouTube are concerned, that is the end for Wolfenstein The New Order. I am so super excited about playing the new Colossus, which should be coming out, oh, in about a month. Uh, so, be on the lookout for that. I sure as shit can't wait. And the adventures of BJ Blazkowicz shall... Blazkowicz. Blazkowicz. BJ Blazkowicz. TJ Blazkowicz. Yeah. TJ Blazkowicz shall continue. We'll be right back.